Hi guys, today is a product review day. We got a wonderful clamp meter from the company Ben Lab. They are sponsoring this product for us to make a review. So let's take a look to it. This is an AC voltage detector and so far by the package I can see that there are some buttons so it looks very interesting. We will watch it at the end of the video. VC600G So it sounds like it's 600 amperes but the true, the package says, is 1000 amperes. And there is something else. When I got the contact from the company, they told me they want me to review a device for electricians. But if it is DC amperes, guys, we can use it in industrial electronics too. There is a beautiful soft case too. It comes with a manual in German, French, Spanish, and Italian. And the device has three years guarantee. The thermocouple is the common thermocouple with banana connectors and is already common in all test equipment nowadays. Many of you like to know about it. It says 1000 volts maximum. And it's rated for category 3. So we can use it in electrical panels. They are light, so by sure they are carbon batteries. This is the double A type. So far, the first impression is heavy, guys. This is not a toy. It's category 3 for AC DC. 600 volts. The test leads are 1 meter long. The material feels very good, it's soft, and very soft. Their angle helps the insertion to be easy on the meter. The first function by safety is non-contact voltage. Here is the sensor. This kind of device is well known because it has a metal core here and sometimes it gives faulty readings, but it's not faulty readings. What happens is in the presence of some metals, it makes the jaggy effect antenna that reflects the signal if the metal is not grounded. So it happens with all these kind of devices and it's not a faulty reading, it's just matter of the technician, the person who is using it, to understand if it is the signal is expecting or not. Now let's test it. Just to give an example, close to the camera it will start detecting. And it's because the feel of the camera and the tripod that is not grounded. But also, when the metal is grounded, it cannot detect because it's chilled. Electromagnetic field. 
and there is nothing. But if I get close to the voltage adapter, I will detect the magnetic field and the presence of voltage. Do you understand its use now? Then the next one is the amp meter. It has DC and AC. And in that case, guys, the company contacted me to make a product review for a device for electricians. But let me tell you, if this device has DC for current and low scale for current, then it's also for electronics and it's great for industrial electronics, uh, medical electronics, for solar uh, panel systems, that is DC, and all kinds of devices that has to relate with current in DC in higher power than 1 2 amperes. As we say, the model is also for 1000 amperes. And it's the, right now, the maximum capacity, maximum capacity amperimeter I have the, here in the lab. 750 volts for AC or 1000 volts for DC and is selected with the button of function. Also, we can select between the voltage and the hertz and check the frequency in that moment. The next one with the function, we can select between capacitors, diode, continuity test, and resistance. The next one is the frequency meter for the ones who are working with uh, motors with uh, frequency to voltage conversion and stuff like that. Sorry, voltage to frequency conversion. This is the right device for that. And it can show not only the frequency, but the duty cycle too which half of the wave is uh, working in that moment. Next one is the temperature with degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's a true RMS device, can hold the signal so we can keep the data on the screen. Also has a light. The first one is for the screen, I guess. And the second one is for the, what we are going to hook is a kind of flashlight. So that's great. I love it. And when we're doing measurements also has a zero. So we can reset the device in the moment we are getting phantom voltage inductance on the test leads and give a zero to it. I guess also for resistors or stuff like that, maybe we can zero it too. Let's test some resistors. One ohm. 10 ohms, 100 ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohms, 100 kilo ohms, 1 mega ohm, 10 mega ohms. This device has the capacity to make measurements until 60 mega ohms. The first resistor was plus minus 5%. And the last one, the rest of them, supposedly they are about plus minus 1%. Now let's test some diodes. One 
the red one, yellow, green, blue, and white. Easy. I'm going to use a reference voltage to test its precision. Now let's compare with a higher precision voltmeter. Let's remember guys, this is a six digits and a half multimeter, very high precision made it for electronics. But the truth is our clamp meter is in the specifications. I knew, I knew you are going to ask for it about the continuity test. So before to shut down, let me show you. Are you happy now? The jaws open about five centimeters. It is about two inches and that's great because we can use it with a very thick wires. Now let's talk about the Venlab VD200 AC voltage detector. It has two batteries. You can insert them here. This is the cup and has power button. What I like about it is it has the high button and the low button. That means I can use the high for electricity, but with the low one, I can use it in electronics for detecting DC if there is voltage without any contact. And this is nice guys, has a flashlight and laser. Pay attention to it. This is the flashlight and this is the laser pointer. That's great, it's super. Uh, maybe it looks like something not so important, but I used to work many years ago with telephone lines and buildings and stuff like that. And when there is a bunch of lines, it's hard to know which one you are pointing to. So I wish it on those years to have something like this. And I guess more videos will be done for another YouTubers putting this on the AC, but we will make that video pointing this to the DC. So now that it's in low, let's try it. This is the voltage DC. If I switch to high voltage, I cannot detect anything. But the AC, probably, yes. Beautiful. I got very impressed by Venlab and their test equipment, not only once, but twice in one day. And I have to congratulate the company. I think the product deserves a like. The price is a very low price. They want to compete with some kind of price that everybody can buy the products. The link of the company, the link of the supplier is down below. Guys, I recommend those devices. They asked me to review the device if I can recommend it for electricians. My answer is yes, I can recommend it for electricians. And also, I will recommend it for the electronics too. Great device, deserves a like. Thanks guys by watching the video. See you next time with more, more product reviews and videos about electronics. Do not forget to like and subscribe because we need it to survive in the channel. See you next time.